Hello, this is M5 Stamp PLC. Another interesting and unique ESP32 based device, and it is packed with ports and various PLC features. Um, but allow me to start by introducing my project. I think you might like something like this. I found this device interesting because of its isolated digital inputs and built-in relays, which can be used, for example, to control. That's why I came up with scenario and programmed the device accordingly to that scenario. Okay, let's say you share a yard with two other neighbors. In the middle of the yard, there is light bulb. Both neighbors have a regular AC switches in front of their, their garages and they can use those switches to turn light on. In front of your door there is M5 Stack Stamp PLC controller. You also have the ability to turn light on or off directly from controller using button B. But you want few extra features. You want to be able to control the light from the, your car using remote control, in this case M5 Stack C. This is fun. Additionally, you want the option for the light to automatically turn off after 50, 15 seconds, or no, 10 seconds. So if I press button A, light will go on and after 10 seconds, it will automatically go off. The time it takes you to get from your car to the house. And since <laughs> you, are, you are the one paying for the electricity, not your neighbors, you want the device to remember the last times the light was switched on or off. So you can figure out who left the light on all the night. I know what are you thinking now, you don't want me as a neighbor. I hope you like my uh, little example and I think something like this can be very useful to control your lights in house or Christmas lights or something like that. Keep in mind that relays, built-in relays are only 5 amps, so don't try to power to control your heaters or um, house heating using those be because it can cause fire, but for lights, fans or some other appliances, 5 amps relay are more than enough. If you're not familiar with PLC, PLC or Programmable Logic Controller is a controller commonly used in an industrial environment and it can operate in harsh conditions and it is used to control various devices and typically features inputs and outputs, outputs such as relays to control motors, lights or other equipment. Uh, on the, this side we can find ports used for, for uh, 585 communication or CAN bus, but to be honest I never used those protocols before. On uh, this side we have many free GPIOs we can use. Here is also SD card slot. We have three push buttons. In my case one is used to turn light on and off. St status of relay is shown here. Push button A is used to trigger timer. So. Here is that orange bar and after 10 seconds it will 
send of signal to the relay. And here is this log screen where we can see what happened. And with C button, I, I can clear my log screen. And here we have two regular switches. Here we can see state of each one. Here we have two grooves connector used for I2C devices. Here is mount for DIN rail. And what I love the most, this device can be powered from any voltage from 6 to 36 volts. You can use this DC connector on you or you can connect wires directly here. Or you can power it using this USB like any other, other ESP32 board. Of course, inside is also real-time clock chip, temperature sensor, buzzer, on-off switch. Very nice and packed device. And yes, I forgot to mention it can track time and when some something happens, you will also see time of that event. I was quite <laughs> quite uh, excited about getting these devices because in the past I ha had a couple let's call it light control projects and um, it always took some time to connect all peripherals like additional real-time clock and uh, additional relays and this board have everything inside of it and what is also interesting as are those connectors for inputs so you can basically connect switches here and they can have any voltage between 5 or 36 volt which is great because if you want to use uh, some other ESP board for example this M5 stick plus and you want to use this GPIO to, to connect a switch to it you need to be careful to connect only 3 0.3 volts to it. If you connect, for example, 12 volts, you can damage whole board. Did I mention that those inputs are isolated, which will protect board or this M5 stamp, which is easily removable, removable if something goes wrong. Sorry for another bad English video. It seems that I'm not improving very fast. Um, my code is in the description. Feel free to check it out and feel free to use it to learn something. This is very easy to use and to install like every M5 stack board. You will just need to update your M5 stack board definitions and maybe install uh, new versions of libraries because this is their i think latest latest release thank you and have a nice day you will see this board uh probably more affiliate link is in the description so feel free to check it out thank you bye